first time ever, some mushers will have tracking devices on their sleds. This is so people at home can view where they are on the race trail, but it won't give the mushers any type of competitive edge. Yeah, this is a, an Ion Earth uh, SRT, and this is what we're calling our musher units. The white ones are transmit only, so mushers get no information in the field, but the uh, uh, spectators from the web can see where the mushers' positions are on 15-minute intervals. So we tried to make a little 3D icon showing the mushers, so when they, the direction they're actually pointing on the course is the way they're shown on the map and it'll show you their position on the map, their, their heading, their speed, altitude, and the temperature at the sled. You have one of the tracking devices in your sled. Yes, What I was do. your initial thought about it? I was very apprehensive, wondering what the benefits would be, I mean, which direction we're going to go with our sport. There are some people that think it's going to be an unfair advantage and everything else, but if I'm four hours ahead of you and we're running the Iditarod, it doesn't matter if you know where I'm at or not because I'm still four hours ahead of you. But you start thinking about it and you're thinking about the positive benefits. That's a device that Iditarod's come up with, working with Eye on Earth, that has given us the opportunity to make the race more exciting for the fans. Okay, what we have here is one of the press tracking units so they can watch the dogs. Jerry installed a tracking unit on the sled and here it shows up right here as dog B. We're going to try and mount these units in different locations on sleds. They're all different. Try and put them in a place where they're not going to fall off. Make sure that they're seeing the sky correctly and that they make it to, to the end of the race. The units weigh about 30 ounces which is just less than two pounds. And does the two pounds add any sort of, I mean, is that gonna a Two you? pounds is two pounds. You weigh the benefits at the same time. So two pounds with the overall benefit that it's gonna be for the race is nothing. And knowing where the mushers are on the course has always been a difficult thing. There's lots of areas in between where the race organizers have no idea whether the mushers have gone off course, whether they've stopped moving for long periods of time. So our, our goal is to provide information to the race organizers uh, from a safety perspective and then beyond that so that spectators can see it on the web. Last year they had a number of mushers that went you know 10, 20 miles off course and were lost and it, and it took them two or three days uh, to figure it out. In this particular case, they'll know that right away. You always get lost. The idea is not to get lost for too long. It's about a thousand mile course. The longest runs will probably take almost two weeks. We'll be able to see those uh, mushers running on the course day and night for two weeks.